All right, Dan, thanks so much. Well, feeling the pinch of your latest winter utility bill? Then this is for you. Linda Duval from PikeSpeakOnTheCheap.com is here to tell us how to save some money. Good morning. We all want to do that, Good right? Good morning. Yes, we do. And a lot of these <laughs> tips, most of them, in fact, won't cost you a thing, right? Right, right. And some of them are made maybe things you've heard before but maybe you need a reminder okay and others might be new to you um, all right let's put up the graphic uh, what do we have think about getting a home energy audit now you can pay for one you can you know hire okay. someone to do one and it will save you a lot of money you can save up to 10 percent on your bill just by you know doing a few pretty minor things and um, you can also get a free one online at csu.org that's Colorado Springs Utility okay so that's a great it, it's an resource online one right you could do for yourself all yeah. right so we talk right. about weatherization right. turning off your lights lowering right. those thermostat settings and you know making sure your appliances are working properly that's right. that's basically home efficiency right, right, right. energy and, efficient but you know, even vacuuming the coils on your refrigerator Oh, I you never know, even thought keep of them doing clean, that. Mine's so probably not clean at they're all. They're efficient. Um, uh, putting a dimmer switch on lights so they're not at full blast all the time. Okay. Um, th there are a lot of small things you can do. Appliances that are uh, plugged in all the time right. are actually still drawing energy. Serious. So if you're not using something, unplug it. Okay. I mean, you know, and especially the things that are instant on. A lot of electronics are instant on. If you're not using that for weeks at a time, unplug it you can even you should probably even turn off your computer when you're not using it and if you that's if that's not practical for you if you mm -hmm. use your computer right, right. a lot then at least turn off the screensaver even that takes energy and I know there's things you can buy you like insulated drapes I don't right, know how, they, right. how much they cost but in the yeah. long run they'll probably save you money they probably aren't any more than regular drapes they just are made a little differently um, you know be sure to change your furnace filter every mm -hmm. once a month or okay, so those during. water leaks too one Dro one leaking faucet dripping one drop of water a minute yeah. can use 250 gallons of water a month. A month? A month. I would have never guessed that. Yeah, yeah. All right, and you want to talk about those uh, fluorescent bulbs as well. Uh, the CFLs, um, mm -hmm. they can save you a lot of money, and, you know, that's been uh, advertised a lot by the people who make them. But right. um, you can save... Um, they take 75% less energy and last about 10 times longer than a regular light bulb. They are more expensive, but they do last way, way longer, and they use so much less energy. And for every bulb you replace in your house with a CFL, for every you know, incandescent bulb you replace with a CFL, you can save about $7 a year on your utility bill. Um, it all adds up, doesn't it? It all adds all up. Right, you well, know, it's small stuff, but... Big, big money. Remember Linda's website, pikespeakonthecheap.com. Be sure to check it out. She's got all kinds of great tips for you. So thanks so much. Thank you. We'll see you next time.